Now to start our discussion, let's have a very simple problem regarding evaporators. Okay, so as you can see, I have a figure from, I don't know, from credits to the owner of this figure. So I just grab it from a certain site. So hindi ko na backtrack yung uh, URL, but um, kung sino man yun, thank you po for having this figure. And um, just to give you an idea on how we solve for any unit operation, medyo, alam ko, medyo may idea na kayo kasi before you have your, um, you had your CG calculations. So, um, technically, yung calculations, yun yung pinaka foundation natin unit operations. But um, we always have to note that the first step in any unit operation problem is that you illustrate the problem. Okay? And to do that, you should have an idea of what the equipment looks like. In this case, this is how an evaporator looks. Now, um, but in cases like this, hindi naman kayo required na mag-drawing ng ganito ka-detailed sa mga solution natin. That's why, I'll be outlining lang yung mga importante dito na parts. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko lang is, uh, I'll draw the body from a rectangle, probably. So, ito yung parang pinaka-body na ating evaporator. And then, I will just uh, do some triangle right here para dun sa ating um, concentrate or um, liquor na lumalabas. So, basically, pwede yung ganyan lang ang ating evaporator. So, hindi naman kayo required na mag-drawing ng ganito ka-detailed. Okay? And then, you can also just draw some uh, something like this. Parang isa pang rectangle dyan sa gitna. Just to note na doon dadaan yung ating heating medium na steam. Okay, so pwede na yan. And then you add all the necessary um, uh, necessary factors or necessary variables na kailangan natin ilagay sa ating drawing. So, let me tell you something about these evaporators. Ano? Actually, evaporators or evaporation is um, a love story. So, um... We know very well na itong figure na to is actually mukha siyang heart kung mapapansin niyo, 'di ba? Um this figure is kung mapapansin niyo para siyang hawig sa heart. Pinilit, okay? So, um ang story do sa evaporators is that um so ito yung parang love story noon. So, merong isang um heart and then uh started to have feelings. So, may pumasok na feelings dun sa kanyang heart. Okay, kung sino man itong taong ito, no? And then, after some time, kasi sabi nga sa evaporation, kailangan mong proceed with time. So, after some time, itong story nito nag-develop, yung feelings na develop, and then after that, ang lumalabas na dun sa heart niya, ang gusto niyang iparamdam dun sa taong yun is yung L natin, love. Okay? So, we have feelings and then love yung gusto nating um, express so um, itong taon na to di ba gusto niya express yung love niya and he, he also wants to see na or make sure na magiging na mananalo siya dun sa love story na to kaya at the end he also wants to be victorious or yun nga mananalo siya kaya kung mapansin nyo may invest siyang feelings he wants to get the love that ano, that he deserves and then kailan maging victorious siya dun sa laban na to no? pero dun sa love story na to hindi natin maiiwasan yung may papasok na S di ba? yan ganyan so may snake na pumasok kasi syempre hindi maiiwasan so may pumasok na snake di ba? so and ang goal lang naman itong snake na to is uh, actually to get the person that uh, this uh, person loves. So, ang kailangan is itong snake na to, hindi siya mag-interfere sa ating love story. Na parang ito kasi natin ang love story. Okay. So, kailangan itong snake na to, kung pumasok siya, kailangan lumabas lang din siya as a snake. Okay? Wala siyang din na lang kung ano man dito sa ating love story. So, ba't ko ba diniscuss yung about dito sa love story ng evaporators? Kasi kung mapansin nyo, if you take all the first letters of this um love balance natin. This is F. This is V. This one is L. And this one is S. The same way na ito rin is S. So, mapapansin nyo, 
sa evaporators natin, usually, what enters is the feed. Okay? So, that's the F and for love, sorry, that's feelings. Okay? And then, what comes out should be love. Okay? So, that is... Oh, sorry. Hindi pala love dito. So, for evaporators, that should be um, liquor. Okay? So, that stands for liquor. And then, dun sa love, sorry, nga, love daw yun. And then, yun nga, kailangan mag-come out ka rin as victorious. So, itong V naman, yeah, so instead of victory, we use vapor for this. Okay? So, we have FLV. And then, yung S natin is yung papasok lang and lalabas. So, remember, when you have a snake in your life, kailangan pumasok lang yun and then lumabas. Huwag kayong sasama dun sa snake or oh, sana wag ding may sumama dun sa snake. So, in this case, we have the steam. So, yung steam, mainit-init yan. So, papasok yan dito sa ating um, heating medium and then ano, lalampas lang yan dito sa ating um, and in a condensed form. Okay? So, lusaw yan. Typically, ito ay, I mean, um, sometimes it's condensed, sometimes it's not. But, um, if it's not condensed, then, ginagamit pa ulit yung steam na yan para, ano, para makapag, um, para gamit nila sa sunod the process. But usually, it is condensed. Okay? So, meron tayo dito um, vapor phase. Ito, vapor yung ating steam. And then, the next one would be um, in liquid phase. Okay? So, they are just steam, no? And then, iba, iba tong vapor na to dito sa steam. No? Kasi, di ba, iba yung um, dinaanan nito kaysa dito sa buong body ng ating evaporator. So, that's how it goes for this material balance. So, tandaan nyo lang, we have the feed, and then, it should become liquor by evaporating on a certain amount of water. And then, yung steam natin, yung magiging heating medium natin, without contact dun sa ating feed. Okay? So, pag din nyo matandaan yung balance evaporator, just... Remember the story of a young man na nagkaroon ng um, battle dito sa snake na to. Okay? Pero naging victorious naman siya. Okay? And then nabuo yung love. Parang ganun lang yan. Okay, so never mind that uh, we focus on chemical engineering. So, ayun na nga. Um, so, kasi itong um, gawa ng mas magandang mas magandang arrows. So, lilipat ko siya somewhere sa gitna so that we can appropriately write the needed natin or mga required dito. Okay. So, um, we start with the feed. So, yung feed natin is usually it enters dun sa top. I mean, hindi naman sobrang top pero there are also types of evaporator na dun mismo sa pinaka top niya. And then, dito is usually nasa above, right above lang siya ng ating heating medium. So, itong heating medium, meron, niya ng, meron na siyang tube for heat exchangers. So, kaya dira-diretso itong ating discussion regarding unit operations. So, meron dyan yung parang uh, yung mga tubes na maliliit. Okay, so, uh, this feed enters. So, um, we have a feed. And sabi dito, yung feed natin is 1,000 kilo, 1,600 kilogram per hour. So, actually, this should be feed rate kasi meron tayong per hour. So, I'll be using feed rate instead of just feed. Actually, hindi naman yun sobrang importante kasi guess naman yun ng kahit sinong kameng. But, um, just to be consistent with mathematics, pag sinabi natin feed rate, ito yung um, number or amount of a certain substance with respect to time. Pero pag sinabi natin feed lang, ito mismo yung certain amount lang. For example, 4,000 kilogram. So, as in kilogram lang. Pero pag rate, ito yung, ano, with respect to time. Okay? So, that's per second, per minute, per hour. Okay? So, that's the feed rate. And then, sabi dito, so, so ito yung single effect lang. Mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano ba yung double effect or triple effect or multiple effect. Now, in a single effect evaporator, so, yung single effect is technically isa lang yung kanyang um, one unit operation process siya. So, pagpasok ng feed, labas na din, tapos na siya. So, we have 20 grams per 80 grams water. So, yung concentration nito is, based on the given, is 20 grams per 80 grams of water. So, ito yung kanyang concentration. No? So, for every 80 grams of H2O, meron dyan 20 grams of H2O. So, if you would be asked, what is the concentration in terms of percentage um, sucrose? So, you should be having something like 20 grams divided by 80 plus 20. So, that's actually the concentration in terms of percent. So, next one is 
This is to be concentrated concentrated to 50% weight. So in short, meron ditong lalabas na liquor. And this liquor would contain 50% weight of sucrose. So that's simply 50% by weight. And this is sucrose. So basically, kung meron ditong 100 tayo na liquor, na hindi naman natin alam kung ano yun, so meron tayong, uh, for every 100, meron dong 50 grams na sucrose. So, yun. And then, syempre, meron, na, meron ditong vapor na lalabas mula dun sa ating um, vent. Or dun sa top ng ating sa top ng ating figure. Okay, so we have there the vapor rate. And then, ina-assume lagi natin naman yun na pure water kasi syempre, alang nga namang sumama yan. Nabibit natin yung purpose ng evaporation if that's the case. So, last one would be the steam. Okay? So, yung steam natin is papasok dito and then lalabas lang siya. So, medyo magka-crowded, magka-crowded yung ating ano dito. So, dito ko lang siya ilalagay. And then, itong ating steam. So, I'll make it red para medyo may distinction. So, papasok yung ating steam at this portion and then lalabas lang ulit siya doon. As a condensate. Pero, mainit pa rin yan. Okay, so ito yung ating steam. Steam rate. Okay, so outside here is a steam also. Usually yung mga um, mga medyo ma, ano pa detail pa is nilalagyan pa nila ng ganito. Actually ako yung nilalagyan ng ganon. Kasi parang ano eh, parang nagkaroon ng heat exchange ganon. Minsan nga, mas mataas pa tataas, mas mababa ito eh. Parang ganyan siya dapat. And then, lalagyan nyo ng parang zigzag. Just to uh, denote na meron ditong heat exchanger. Kaso hindi ko siya medyo magawa dito kasi medyo mahirap. Pero sige, gagawin ko na nga. So, ang uh, goal lang naman is to make it aesthetically pleasing. Pero kahit naman, diretsong lang lang, okay lang eh. So, ito yung ating balance. And we know that this is, the feed rate is 20 grams per 80 grams H2O. And we're asked to find what is the rate of the vapor. So, that's the vapor rate. And to do that, let ha let us have the material balance for this one. So, we know naman na kung may pumasok, kung ano yung pumasok, uh, i-equate natin yun sa kung ano man ang lumalabas. So, let's say we have the feed. So, let's label that as F. Let's use green. So, meron tayong feed na pumasok. And then, meron tayong steam na pumasok din. So, this is what goes inside, di ba? And then, this is equal to what goes out. So, we have the vapor and then the liquor. And then, of course, the steam. So, this is uh, this comes out. Okay. So, ito yung goes inside and then this one or this ones come out. So, and after that, this is actually the overall material balance. We can now cancel S because kung ano may pumasok na steam, yun din yung lalabas na steam. So, we're left with F is equal to L plus V. So, this is the overall. Let's use this one. So, we have the overall material balance. Okay. So, this is it. F is equal to L plus V. Okay. And now, uh, let's try to substitute yung mga values natin, kung meron ba tayong uh, pwedeng substitute. So, we know very well that our feed is 1,600 kilograms per hour. Pero, we have no idea what is, what are our vapor rate and liquid rate. So, we, we're left with that um, equation lock. So, we have two unknowns here. We can do component balance para ma-check natin yung the other equation para ma-solve natin yung ating remaining unknowns. So, in this case, we know very well that to do any component balance, we just have to take the fraction of that component na we're talking about. In evaporators, we know na yung component na tinutukoy natin is always the solute. So, for example, you have water and sugar. So, you know that the component I'm talking about is this sugar. Kasi yun yung ating um, pinaka-solute, di ba? So, parang wala naman sense kung nasabihin natin na water yun. Kasi, um, technically, we're removing water. So, bakit natin kailangan siyang pag-usapan? I mean as a component, di ba? So, in this case, we, we write the overall material balance again. So, that's F is equal to L plus V. And then, you add all the fractions of that. So, we have F and then you add XF. 
this is equal to L and then XL and then plus V X V. And knowing for sure na dito sa vapor rate natin, wala naman dyan lumalabas sa component ng sucrose. So, this becomes zero because X V is equal to zero. Diba? So, we're now left with F X F is equal to L X L. So, in that case, we have F. So, the feed is 1,600 kilograms per hour. And then, our X F is the fraction of the sucrose in the solution. So, if we're talking about the fraction of the sucrose, we know that, now that that's 20 grams sucrose per 20 grams of sucrose, and then we have the 80 grams of water. So, don't get confused with this because the given is actually 20 grams per 80 grams, but that's just the, fraction, the amount of sucrose per um, solvent. But in this case, we need to amount all the, the solution, the total uh, weight of the solution. So, we have to take 20 plus 80 in this denominator. And then that is equal to L. So we, we don't know L, but we know very well that XL is 0.5 or 50% based on this given. So we can um, solve for this. So the value of our L or the liquor rate is 640 kilograms per hour. And based on our overall material balance we know na, we know that l is equal to i mean f is equal to l plus v so therefore v is equal to f minus l so you just have to subtract uh, 640 from 1600 so we have 1600 kilograms per hour then minus 640 kilograms per hour so therefore we have v which is equal to 960. So therefore, the vapor rate is 960 per kil kilogram per hour. So basically, the vapor rate is escaping at a rate of 960 kilograms per hour. So you can do this the other way around where your component is actually water. So it's like water balance. So instead of using XF, you will use um, F is equal to 1 minus XF. That will be equal to L times 1 minus XL and then V times 1 minus XV. And this will leave out V kasi yun yung ating magiging um, fraction wherein X, 1 minus XV is equal to 1. So, ayun, and then you would have this F, L, and V. Uh, unknowns. L is unknown for that. And the computation would be um, a little longer. So, you would be employing the equations to unknowns for that para ma -solve. but um, you, will all you will also get the same answer and yes this is a very simple problem I just want to show you how things work in evaporation it's just that you take all these material balances and then just find the value and it is very easy when it's single effect without any boiling uh, point elevation and then without any heat exchange that I mean without any um, heat balance that needs to be determined prior to solving Okay, so let's move on with another problem.